I've been on the foundation since grade eight. So it's been about nine years. I can see that I've developed. I can see that my way of thinking has changed. The way I do things has changed. I came from a very middle class background and I mean, your ambitions weren't that high, you know, and Alan Gray, Orbis Foundation just opened up this entire world for me. And that's when I actually became entrepreneurial. Um, I was not entrepreneurial before. Just to watch how much I've grown from the person who was asked what does Alan Gray Orbis Foundation do in my interview and I said I do not know and I cannot imagine where I would be uh, without firstly you know the enablement to study and also all the skills uh, that I've learned from the foundation. I actually remember when I was being interviewed, like it was yesterday, and when I left that, uh, that room, I was like, finally I found people of my own. <laughs> I could relate to them so, so much. Um, and it was so exciting to tell them my stories and what I've done, my entrepreneurship journey up to that point. I, I would say I probably still have a business if I was not in the foundation, but it probably was going to be 10, 20 years delayed. Um, it was going to be 100 times harder. I'm finally at the stage where I can say like, it's time and I know I've got all the support to do it um, and there's this amazing foundation backing everything we're doing so at this stage entrepreneurship is more for me about action now than, than anything else it's, it's getting to it and going out. As a young person growing up in such a dynamic country there are so many possibilities and ventures you could go off into but to be called to be part of so few people that have the opportunity to be on this journey to have the best resources available. It's very overwhelming and you're not sure yet if you're doing enough to show appreciation for that in your everyday life. I think it gave me an option, you know, uh, of entrepreneurship. So I grew up very scientific, uh, National Geographic, you know, physics and so forth. But now um, I learned about entrepreneurship and thankfully when I was very young, it was like learning a new language, what the problems it was trying to address. It has been challenging, but what has made it a lot easier to go through is the support system because entrepreneurship can be lonely, um, but the support system that we have in our association really helps with that. What really helped me um, kind of pull out um, ahead of the rest was the support and the um, resources I could draw from the foundation. I got seed funding in the first year of the business, um, which is something that really you know, helps to propel a business and help me take more risks. I think the foundation helped accelerate a lot of my goals and helped really put me on the right path. I'd imagine that without the foundation, all of this might have taken many more years than I'd have liked it to. And I'm, I'm very glad that it's happened so fast, even if it is a bit overwhelming at times. It's not just about uh, the foundation paying you your school fees. I, I got in here from just thinking about entrepreneurship, now to actually running a business. So I think the practicalities of entrepreneurship is what the foundation has given me and actually just helping me think through some of those uh, ideas and actually potentially scale them up to impact Africa and the world.